to do today is to bend rebar. This is uh, M12, about half an inch rebar. And what I'm trying to do is to bend it into a shape, something like that. The technique I'm using here is a couple of pieces of 15 millimeter rod uh, welded to a piece of uh, one and a half inch by five, uh, or six millimeter probably, one and a half by a quarter uh, angle iron. And the way I'm doing it is, is without any heat at all. So it's just, Raw bending like this. And if need be, using a bending fork, it's just a 15mm rod, two bits welded on. Not very elegantly, but welded on. Rebar is notoriously difficult, to, well, as far as I can see, difficult to bend. It's kind of important that this uh, bending jig doesn't break. If you've got that sort of force on it and it breaks, then it tends to be a rather unfortunate situation of me going backwards. So what we're doing is having got the the bend on then we need to straighten the, uh, the the bottom pipe here so that the the bend is somewhere above somewhere in line with that uh, and then we've got to bend this in so it's in the same plane. I require a little bit more fettling. Uh, So that's getting close to what it needs to be. Uh, it's just a question now of trying to refine this. Uh, maybe that's not too bad. That's sort of what I'm. I want to get three of them looking roughly the same. So they're not a million miles out. So I think I'll uh, temporarily call that. I may have to sort of get these things hot just at the end to. to do the final uh, arrangement for what I want, uh, but I think that's quite a reasonable job. A very crude forge, uh, just a propane torch, uh, it's only by some air bricks uh, going onto the steel, but it does get it hot enough to work. Finish off the final bit with the angle grinder. <laughs> to do now is to join these two hoops, well, three hoops together to make the tripod. Now, these two are completely closed, but this one I've left, I've bent over it at an angle. 
like that so that these two can go on there and then all I've got to do is just bend this back to close the uh, three things together to make the tripod. So that's the, uh, the next job. And I've threaded it through, put the bottom part in the vise, also I've put the chain on so I need that for the cauldron. And then all I need to do is to bend that so that is in line. And then I'll also have to bend it down a bit to close the little gap up. But that's essentially the procedure. One of the wettest I can remember, it's just pouring down. But the tripod is up here, it's got its little chain and it comes down so the witch is cold at the bottom. Which you can't really see because of the, uh, the rain pouring down. But that's what Halloween is in 2021. And then there is the, the jack-o'-lantern. It's got a uh, flickering yellow LEDs inside of it and it's saying Happy Halloween. Hope you had a good one.